Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to the Grantor, uh, Grantor uh, training session. In this session, we are going to look at um, or to create a simple project. So let us go ahead and start. First, what you need to do is whenever you want to create a new project, select project new. Now it is going to give you a new project. First, what you need to do is we need to set up a properties for this project. So in order to set up the project, you can go ahead and uh, click on this properties. Okay. And now it is going to ask you what is the project name. I am giving this one as a Gunter Development Development Project. And here we need to specify what is the start date and end date for this project. So by default, it is going to select the today's date and then we need to give you a finish date. So if you want to give you a start from and then if you want to give as a deadline, then what you can specify is you can you can uh, give what is the deliverable time for this project. Okay, I'm giving as a deadline for this as a uh, June 30th, 2016, the deadline for this entire project. Okay, now it is also gives you the calendar format it is like a standard or the 24 hours of the night shift so based on the your project uh, um, you need to select the particular calendar because as i explained earlier this country is not only for the development projects but uh, wherever you want to schedule the planning or the even for the training pro training purpose also you can go ahead and start uh, use this grantor and you need to specify the requirement or the parameters required for the training project so similarly what i am doing is i am going to use like a standard project okay so this is going to be like a standard uh, calendar sorry standard calendar and then if you go to the additional information tab you need to select what is the uh, you can select the industry for this uh, particular project so you can uh, when you click on this uh, drop down you will have a couple of options where you need to where you can see couple of uh, options oh, for this um, you need to select one from this based on your project i am giving as a, like a information okay and even if you want to set the location also you can see for example if i get see uh, bangalore or if you want to see united states of america so you can select the location also and then uh, uh, duration so and when you are working this project you need to set the duration like uh, how many hours you are going to work in a day and um, uh, for the week whether we are working like a uh, seven days or the five days and also you can specify how many days in a month okay so you need to set uh, based on your project whether daily you are, your resources are going to work like eight hours or ten hours and uh, whether as if it is the project is critical then you may have to work uh, work on uh, um, uh, seven days so based on your project requirement you need to set up these um, uh, this uh, uh, duration okay and then regional regional parameter is only specific to your um, your pro uh, your particular project or the re uh, region so whether it is a uh, first day of the week is it is a sunday or uh, from there actually it is going to be start and date format currently by default it is showing like a month day and a year if you want to change it you can change it to day month year also and then time format it is um, a time format it is like uh, you want to you want to like uh, am and pm or you can directly have it 24 by 7 format they can you can uh, select that format and current currency basically gives you the information about whether you are working on a particular development then you need to code for the estimates like a cost estimates so that is the reason you can specify the currency like a dollar and currently position if you want to have a dollar uh, the dollar symbol before that or after that or after after dollar symbol you want to space something you can select for this um, currency so this is this gives you about when you estimate the cost then uh, this format actually you are going to look at the uh, project estimates cost like for example if you get a two thousand dollars 
then dollar 2000 will be uh, first you will see the dollar symbol and then you will see the currency the the amount of it and then uh, time defaults so when you start the project you need to specify what is the start time and end time uh, for the each day here it is saying like a 8 am to 17 pm that means 8 am to 5 pm is the standard um, for each day when the project will start and when the project will be complete uh, when the uh, for the day it will start at 8 am and the end uh, at 5 pm if you want to specify some different times so you can specify your timings here okay and also um, you need to specify the resources because so far we didn't uh, created any resources that is the reason um, we we didn't get any any uh, resource list here that means that means before you create a project itself you should know what are what are what are the resource what are the resources or the people who are working um, on this uh, project and there you need to list down first all the resources then we can select these resources actually working on this specific project and if you want to provide any um, notes to the project you can specify from here and the links if you want to uh, if you want to have any external links uh, related to this project like a, like a tdds if you want to prepare and uh, there is a some uh, svn or the git repository where you want to specify those urls or some information related to the project if somewhere in the web you can add those resources here okay and then risk so so far we didn't have mentioned any risk but if you want to mention some risk at the, uh, which is which is uh, impacting these deliverables of the project then you can specify from here okay so at this point of time i am giving like a project name as a grantor and the resources i have not allocated and risk also we didn't list it we will see you how we can uh, assign these resources uh, and uh, risks at uh, a later point of time okay so we we have uh, given a project properties and now we can save this uh, project now if you see here grantor development project and basic things we are already seen and next thing what we are going to see is before we are creating a uh, we are creating a task first we need to assign the resources for the project so i am going to create the resources so i went to the resource tab here it is going to say that what is the resource name email and work type and the material and what is the cost for it and basic calendar so this is the basic information you need to provide for the particular resource for example here i am giving as a developer 1 developer 1 so i am saying that you need to give a developer name and if you want you can give your official email of that particular developer and work type is it is a work because even project may contain say both the things whether it is a resources might be a like a uh, people and also resources might be like a computer or the laptop or uh, uh, or the software so all this term comes as a materialites so you need to specify what is the uh, what is the um, work type uh, sorry what is the uh, who, who is the resource and the email address and type of the work and cost so cost basically gives you for the particular developer for each hour how much uh, uh, how much cost it takes for example if i say for the developer 1 for hour they are going to charge 10 uh, dollars so in that scenario when you are estimate when you are creating a project plan automatically when you assign a this resource to the particular task then you will get the estimate for what is the complete uh, how much cost to complete the particular task and also you need to select the base calendar like whether this particular resource is work on like a standard uh, uh, calendar or the 24 uh, hours or the night shift so this information also you need to select okay and i am saying developer 1 and similarly i am saying that um, developer two and for this one also i am saying uh, work and here i am giving like a 20 hour uh, uh, 20 uh, dollars per hour and standard and i am going to give one more like a business uh, 
analyst analyst business analyst and i am giving business analyst cost as uh, 30 hours and standard time and i am i am giving one more role like a project uh, manager ideally this is the resource name but i just uh, give uh, want to give you like a uh, more information about uh, what are the roles and responsibility for the project i am giving this way okay and uh, what i am saying is like um, uh it is a 40 hours and standard and uh, if we wa if we have a tester in your project so tester 1 and uh, i am giving as a 15 dollars per hour and standard okay C consider this on this project there are five resources who are going to work with the uh, various roles and these are the people who want to work on this uh, project okay now we have um, uh, clearly mentioned what are the developer and what is the development cost and the type of the work and what is the calendar now if i see go in detail about the calendar i already explained so calendar will give you and about the whether it is a standard timings or it uh, the resource might be work on the 24 hours or only night shift so this gives you to uh, utilize or it uh, to calculate the project plan efficiently based on the this um, uh, calendar proper uh, calendar um, uh, formats and then you can specify the risk risk is basically what um, what uh, might be causing uh, like uh, for example you have a dependency on the software or uh, sometimes what happens is um, your um, resources may go on vacation unplanned for example i can say unplanned uh, outage unplanned uh, uh, vacations i am just uh, giving you an example but this is not a uh, like a, uh, uh, a real one but you need to specify like whether it is a probable or the frequent or the improbable or remote you need to select any one of this one and what is the severity and what is the action for example when some developer is working on the particular module his laptop is got crashed because of that it might be taking one or two days so this is a very risk is very uh, the probability is very very rare but it has a impact of the impact on the deliverable and also from uh, some people might go on on sick for few days in that scenario it is also a moderate risk which impacting on the deliverables so like that if you want to specify some uh, these type of things then it will be impacting on the project and for example you are waiting for a particular software uh, which is expecting by the customer but it is not uh, scheduled on time then again it will be consider as a risk for the project or some people go unplanned vacations these are also going for a like a risk for the project it might be risk is nothing but what are the things which may cause the project deliverables delay those we consider as the risk and whether the risk is like a manageable or it is really affecting the project then we need to uh, we need to take uh, we need to take a call on that so those things we need to uh, uh, specify here and uh, severity i would say like a uh, low and what is the priority whether we need to take that one as a action uh, urgent action or the stop or no action is required or this so that what happens is once you specify these parameters the project manager will taking care of the necessary action to mitigate this risk actually that is what the um, plan is once you uh, done with the risk now we need to go with the main module of tasks now this is where you are going to um, create your uh, you, you create your project um, plan as we already have the resources and we already have the risks for the project and um, now we need to go ahead and um, and one more thing when i am talking about the resources 
if you want to um, specify any particular project of this uh, any any particular uh, properties for the developer now you can go to the action and see the properties here you can see that what is the um, uh, resource name and uh, what is the uh, cost for this developer and if you provide email address and work type is what call the type is work or the material and also you can specify the each each uh, each resource whether he work from the some uh, what time to what time he is going to work for example here what uh, in general what happens is uh, during the 8 hours window 1 hour will be taking care for the some lunch time or something so for that reason you can even you can uh, specify what is the time he is going to work on that um, he is going to work for example some people may come uh, if they are working from a remote so they may have they can work like a more time so in that scenario you can adjust for the particular resource also at what time he is going to start working and what is the end time for that um, resource he, when you working on the particular task so like that he even you can change the properties for the resources and um, given some resource if you working like a night shift you can uh, say night shift and you can specify the timings so if you want to change particular property for the particular resource now you need to uh, highlight the task and go to the action and identify the property click on the properties now you can change those properties okay hope you are uh, clear with the allocating the uh, crea creating the resources for the project and uh, identifying the risk during your project and the next tutorial we will see the important uh, concept of the how we are going to create a tasks for the project thanks if you have any queries please comment on my youtube video